Tonight, charges now being filed against an alleged accomplice in the case of a triple murder at a Cobb County golf course. You remember this story. The shootings happened at Pine Tree Country Club on the 3rd of July. One of the victims, a well-known golf pro, the other two kidnapped and later killed on the course. CBS 46's Megan Packer live in the newsroom for us tonight looking into this new warrant, Megan. And Rick and Sean, we are learning more from this warrant tonight. It outlines what police say happened right before two of the victims were driven to the golf course and killed. Tonight, police are looking for the man they say played a role in the kidnapping. It was a crime that sent shockwaves through Cobb County and beyond. A triple shooting on the 10th hole at Pine Tree Country Club near Kennesaw in July. Brian Roden is already charged in the murders of 76-year-old Paul Pearson and 46-year-old Henry Valdez, both from out of state. They were found tied up and shot in the back of Pearson's truck on the green. The third victim, beloved golf pro Gene Siller. Police say the 46-year-old was shot and killed when he went to figure out why the truck was on the course. Now, almost six months later, we are learning more about a second suspect in the case. Justin Pruitt of South Carolina is charged with two counts of felony kidnapping. A criminal warrant says on the afternoon of July 3rd in an industrial area along Jonesboro Road in Clayton County, he bound Pearson and Valdez with duct tape and zip ties against their will. The warrant states Pruitt then played a part in transporting the men to the country club nearly 50 miles north. When they arrived there, police say it was Brian Roden who shot Pearson in the back, buttock, leg and arms and shot Valdez in the head. And still so many questions about this case, what the connection was between everybody and how they ended up at that golf course. We have learned Pruitt was indicted in South Carolina in 2019 in connection to a cocaine trafficking operation. But again, tonight, police are looking for him. At last check, he was not in custody. Live in the newsroom, I'm Megan Packer, CBS 46 News. Megan, thank you.